Yeah. Wave your hands to and fro. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, was that? Is the train literally outside our window? There's no train by our house. That's a train. Isn't that a train? There's no train by our... Have you seen train tracks by our place? No. Hey guys, it's Eric. And Adam. And welcome to Make Baby Monday! Yay! So, if you're just joining us for the first time, just to let you know, this is uh, what we do on Mondays, is Make Baby Mondays, and we update you on our baby-making process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our journey to having our first child. Yeah. So, yeah. Our journey to fatherhood. Um, so, clearly I already have one child, so what's another one? <laughs> Oh. No, you got to know the secret password. <laughs> and make sure you go back and watch all the videos because we have gone through. We're doing every all the step steps. of the way. It's kind of crazy. Every step of the to way. To look back and to think first of what we, we started with adoption. Yeah, it was closed adoption, then open adoption, and then it went into surrogacy, which is where we're at right now. Who knows how we're gonna get our child, but we're gonna get it some way or another. Some so. way. Yeah. I quit. <laughs> This one, uh, we're going to do a little discussion um, with y'all, and we're going to discuss on exactly what we're going to do and what we talked about as far as uh, implantation, and is it going to be Adam's, is it going to be mine, uh, and how many. We have a lot of unanswered questions as well that uh, we want to know the answers to, and uh, we're actually going to be having a Skype uh, session with our fertility clinic this Thursday. So we're really excited about that. So more to come next week on exactly what we find out about our Skype session. So uh, stay tuned for that. You know, sticky? Yeah, that's sticky. The real question comes down to is how many you want to implant? And that means how many um, good or great embryos come from the injection of the egg and the sperm mm -hmm. and how many are viable and how many the doctor actually suggests you putting uh, into the surrogate and that's where kind of we are have we haven't made a final decision yet we, no. we know we want one but we also want it to happen on the first time so there's the possibility that it may not take the first time so they always suggest doing three or four there is a, a story from our doctor that the surrogate that they used to get their twins, um, the couple she worked with before, I guess they had three and they wanted two kids, so they eliminated one. Reduced. Reduced, sorry. It's not like a video game or something. So they reduced one, so they had two eggs, then one miscarried and they were left with one. So they were prepared for two and they only got one, so that was quite traumatic for everybody involved. Yeah, it's just like to prepare for any circumstance, even like something like that. It's From the get-go, no matter what, it was always going to be Eric's swimmers that were donated. I recently started exercising the idea of donating my swimmers as well, but that means that we would have more than one child, because one would definitely be Eric's. Um, and I think I had looked at some pictures of Eric and myself and enjoyed the fact that we both have very different features, physical features, uh, different hair color, eye color, facial structure, all that stuff. And I thought it would be really cool to have a couple of kids that look different and all that. And yeah, so then I brought that up to Eric, who was shocked because I had never voiced it to him before, but I was like, um, I might be into the idea of donating my swimmers, so... Which that I was... I was very happy about. Why would we not have the chance to have a kid with Adam's genetics? Like, I, I just... I pictured the egg donor and I pictured Adam, and I was like, they would make beautiful babies. They would... And I didn't tell you that today, but I just had this moment of, I really, like it clicked for me. Like I, I really, I really wanted that. Here's the thing guys. So 
We had a couple of egg donors in mind originally, and the egg donor that we've chosen aesthetically looks similar to myself. Even so, more of a reason. For me, I almost want to use our other egg donor that we had talked to for my egg and then use the one that looks like me for Eric's egg because if we use the one that looks like me with my stuff, it's literally going to come out of the surrogate with dark hair and literally clear skin. Like, so pale that it That's not necessarily true might, because there's it would get, genetics in... It would get lost in a pile of snow if it was dropped. That's not true. I'm sure our egg donor has plenty of other characteristics and genetics that might be secondary, that might catch on, that may not be dominant. But if we're gonna go with the variety and have both of our swimmers, then why not make it even more of a variety? I don't know. So that's that's what... Because of money? Yeah. If we add another egg donor into the mix, let alone another sperm donor... So a, 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 an additional sperm donor is an additional $1,500. Yeah. Just to let you know. Which I'm quite frugal, so having that as an added expense just for me to be like, oh, let me throw in my eggs is actually quite difficult. Your for eggs. Whatever. <laughs> whatever I have inside of me. Okay. My swimmers. So to add my swimmers into the mix for a slightly selfish reason of, oh, I would love for my family and my so genetics selfish. to live on and continue through. It's a little difficult for me to be like gung-ho for it because of the extra expense. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Like it's still a lot of money, yes. But down the road in however many years, you're going to look at the child and you'll be like, oh, if we end up having two and... Well, yeah, it all seems like a lot. Before the kid is here, it all seems like a lot. Once the kid is here, we won't even be thinking about price or cost of anything. We'll just be happy True. that we have a child, like no matter what. But it's just before the child and the steps, it's like, it. God, the money is like... It's part of what you have to do, and there's no way of really getting around it. Yeah, it's just really difficult to decide what we're going to do, for me, just because it feels like we have one chance, just because it's so expensive, and to like do the implantation. So I want to do it right the first time, and to decide if we're going to do one, two, three implantations, his eggs hit, hit, what? The freaking ever! Everybody has eggs right now, okay? In my head. So, your swimmers, my swimmers, or just your, you know, like, there's so many... So I go back and forth, I don't know, I haven't decided. Just be, and the money keeps going around and around, so I'm like... Should I just let it be his swimmers? Because he's the one that's always wanted kids his whole life. I'm the one that's been a kid my whole life. Real talk. And so... Once I have a child, I think I'll completely change and be the greatest dad in the world. But I think it's much easier for him to be dad-minded right now because I'm still a kid at heart. I'm mature, but I like still view the world through a child's eyes. I'm still naive to things. I'm still, and I like to be like that because there's too much crap on the world. I don't like to... But I think because I know... We're getting on a different topic I now. know where I'm at, and I know that I want a kid. It would be amazing if that kid had genetics, a part of me, and it's genetics. Like, I know that feeling, and I'm feeling it right now, that I don't want you to not have that feeling, to not have that opportunity. Yeah. I don't want you to regret it in the future on this one moment that we have in our lives that we're choosing how to have a baby and this one moment is whether or not it's going to be genetically you or genetically me why not just do one of each and if it happens it happens if it doesn't we can at least say we tried little tail 
<laughs> I think a lot's gonna have to do with what our discussion is going to be on Thursday with our doctor. Yeah, um, at the fertility center. Uh, and we're so excited because we got Dr. Park. That's the one that we wanted. So, uh, yay! So we actually do have a Skype session. I didn't session. actually know that. Yeah, we have. <laughs> By the way, we got Dr. Park. Yay! <laughs> I knew we had a Skype call. I didn't know which doc. I, like, I got the email, too, and I glazed over the doctor's name because I was at the dentist when I got it. So I was like, la, 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 cavities. Okay, we have a Skype call. Great. I didn't even look at the doctor's name. I'm sure the doctor has seen plenty of yeah. partners or couples or anything like that that have the same concerns or questions or inner turmoil about this as we do. So she's probably just like, y'all, just like, chill out. This is totally like natural and it totally comes with this whole thing. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like what you watch, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Um, and please share with your friends. Uh, we'd love to spread our story around and make sure everybody uh, has an opportunity to follow along as well. Yeah. In case they have questions. And uh, we'll see you soon. Three. Three.